Hi, my name is Jason Decatur, and I'm a Chegg tutor who works primarily in psychology along with a couple of areas like statistics. And today I'm going to present on the mind-body problem. And so it's something that really started in philosophy and is one of the main questions that helped uh, lead to the formation of psychology as a field. And the problem is trying to understand are the mind and the body something that are separate or something that are linked in some way? So when we think about the mind, we're talking about our consciousness, sort of our experience of the world as a person within our own mind. So um, not just thinking about the brain that processes all the different things, but our, our uh, awareness of who we are, what it is that makes us who we are. And it's not entirely clear if that's something that is linked to the body or not. Uh, in the past, a lot of people thought that there was a link there. Uh, and today we know that the brain plays a large role in how we think and who we are, but we don't really know for sure how the processes in the brain lead to this uh, sensation of consciousness. So we know that if there are things that are altered in the brain, if there's damage to certain areas, these can lead to different changes in personality and how we think and all these different things, but we don't really know yet how all these different interactions with our neurons lead to this feeling of consciousness, lead to ideas of free will and being able to make choices and things like that. So there's been a little bit of a divide there where we know the brain is involved, but we don't really know if they're linked to our consciousness. So some people, especially some of the ancient philosophers, um, but even today there will be some who would argue that the brain and the, or sorry, the mind and the body are really different things. That there may be a link in some way, uh, but that really that they're separate. Uh, and sometimes people talk about the mind as sort of being a soul or something that is really attached to the body or kind of works through the body but is distinct from the body. Uh, so there's a sense there that uh, really the mind cannot be thought of as a piece of the body. Uh, the body is just a way for the mind to interact with the world. So we really need to try to grapple with this because it has consequences in terms of understanding if we look at the brain, if we understand all these different things about how it functions, does that really tell us about the conscious experience and who we are or is there something else that's present, it's something else that we're missing? What does that say for how we treat certain things? Um, it's really unclear. You know, Even though we have this link with the brain, we have things like fMRIs that tell us a little bit of information, it's not really clear what exactly it's telling us and we can't still make that connection between the activity of the brain and the experience of consciousness. And that has some consequences again for things like free will. So if the brain really does represent our mind, uh, if we really are just the activity in our brain, is that something that we really have control over? Because as part of our conscious experience, we have free will, uh, or at least perception of free will, some would argue, that we're able to make these choices and influence our outcomes and what we think about. And that's what a lot of therapy focuses on, is making the conscious choice of what we're going to focus on, having the free will and the ability to choose. But if our mind is really just our brain and just these activities and neurons, then that means it's pretty much determined by just the different mechanisms that are in play. And maybe it's just that the brain is so complex and all the mechanisms are so complex that it leads to this uh, false feeling of freedom or this false feeling of consciousness that really isn't there, which can be pretty scary to think about, but it's an important question nonetheless, which is why it's still a topic that is discussed among psychologists and philosophers alike and is an interesting topic to discuss with everybody in general. So hopefully this has been a clear uh, description of the mind-body problem. It's a pretty straightforward problem, but not one that has any kind of easy answer. Uh, if you have any questions about it, you're welcome to reach out to me through Chegg um, or set up a session with me if this is something that you'd like to discuss further in more detail. Uh, again, I work mainly in psychology, but also in things like statistics. And there are other great tutors who also work within psychology and would love to schedule a session with you to talk about these topics further. So this has been helpful, and hopefully uh, you take care.